Folks, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world, to enjoy all the pleasures of this world, vanity? What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul to darkness? People of God, let's get serious. Let's get back to basic. Let's get back on our knees and begin to seek the face of God like never before. Rabbis, Rabbis Andre. Begin to seek the face of Jehovah Adonai. The one that will hold you and protect you and cover you. Let's be go back to basic. Let's begin to seek him like never before. He is God. There's no other God besides him. There are petite gods, but they are not God. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. It burns my heart. Because the people of God at this last days, at this point in last days that we are living, ought to be on a complete different dimension and levels. Ought to be going from glory to glory. Instead, we, it seems like we are going backwards. Tell somebody, I'm not going backwards. Huh? I'm going forward. The Bible says in the book of Philippians that I will push forward. Uh-huh forward towards the mark of the high calling where in christ jesus i'm pushing forward i'm not looking back i'm not looking in i'm not looking out i'm not looking left right or south i'm pushing towards god i'm pushing towards the anointing i'm pushing towards the fire yes i need more of god in my life i need more tell somebody that you're sitting beside this evening i need i need i need the oh lord I need we need God. We we need God. We need God. I don't care how imperfect you are. You will never be perfect. He's the only one that will come in your life and begin to make everything perfect in your life. But you will not be perfect until you give it up to God. What does a prophet a man to gain the whole world? Have the fancy cars and have all the fancy clothes and shoes. But your heart, your heart, your heart is not sold out to the kingdom of God. Your heart is not sold out to Yahshua Amashia. Your heart is not sold out. You can't forgive. You can't love. You can't do any of these things because you have a hard heart. You better begin to go on your knees and ask God to help you because 2022, you don't want to miss that year. It's going to be a year of blissful blessings for the children of God, for the obedience of God, for the faithful ones of God. Faithful blessing. Blessed for, excuse me, blessings. What does it profit you, child of God? I'm talking to children of God. I'm not talking to, to the backslider. Because the backslider will quickly run in the house of God if we give them the chance. But we're not even giving them the chance to run back to Jesus. Instead, we've taken control of the whole thing and we act like God does not exist. We've, we've limited God now below our level. How? The Bible says in the book of Galatians chapter 3, what has bewitched you? You foolish Galatians, what has bewitched you? What has happened in your head? Do you not know that he is God? The Alpha and Omega beginning and the end. He owns the universe. Oh, there's another God on the earth that rules the universe who is Satan. But his power is not greater than the power of God. Neither is he greater than the blood that was shed on Calvary Cross for us sinners. What does it profit you? If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me, please, Lord. If you can use anything, Lord, use me. Let me speak on your behalf. Let me clean the church if I have to. If you can, you can, you can, Lord. Use anything, you can use me. I don't care about positions. I don't care about positions. 
I care about what legacy am I going to leave on the earth when I disappear out of here, when I expire? What legacy is it I'm going to leave here for my son? What legacy is it I'm going to leave here for my children? This is why I live this life. I live for Christ because the Bible said to live is for Christ and to die. The book of Philippians, Paul said to die is to gain. So when I leave this world, the Bible said that he had went to prepare a place for me. And when I go to that place, oh, there'll be no more crying. Come on, so there be no more weeping so there be no more death death will be gone and disappear my good God almighty what does it profit you to gain the word and not know Jesus if you don't know Jesus today I command you in the name of the Holy Spirit to come to him and give him your heart give him your mind give him your body give him your soul I command you in the name of Jesus to come out of that dark place that you are at right now I command everything that has hold you hot to release you in the name of Jesus and let you go by fire. There's no one without you, Jesus. God has been too good. God has been too good. God has been too good. Don't forsake your father. He's been too good. Come back to Jesus. Come back to Jesus. I mean, with your heart, my body, and so ask him to forgive you. Ask him, repent. He is God. Bow down, bow down, bow down, bow down, bow down to him. I'm pleading with somebody this evening. I don't know who I'm, who I'm speaking to, but I come to speak to somebody directly. Your season and your time has changed. I said your season and your time has changed. Many, what the things that you used to go through, God is now ready to deliver you. But it's going to take effort on your part to push in order to get to destiny, in order to get to purpose. I feel it in my spirit. You're going to have to push. Yes, they don't want to let you go. They want to hold you captive. But God said, push. He said, I never leave you nor forsake you. He said, this is the year that your change has come. This is the year that I'm unfolding everything for you so that you can see even the more greater. Fall in love with Jesus. Fall in love with Jesus. Please fall in love with Jesus. Don't be like the five virgins. Trust him and have confidence in him. He is Jehovah Jireh. Yeshua. Yeshua. Cry to Yeshua to change things in your in your uh, uh, environment. Cry to Yeshua to change things before 2022 comes here. I love him. If it wasn't for God, I would have been gone. But my testimony to put the head of the devil down is that God raised me up from death road. That's why right, from death, out of death, he raised me up in a coma. He raised me up. When doctors had given up. Love him. Love him. <laughs> Thank him. Appreciate him. Don't be so prideful and allow your pride and your education and the things that you think and accomplish yourself in life. None of those things matter. The only thing that matters is that you know Jesus Christ of Nazareth from the bottom of your heart, that you know him and that he is the covenant keeping God. He is your keeper. He is the sustainer of your life. He's the lifter of your head. You got to know and know and know that for yourself. You know, if you know that for yourself, then you know who you are. Nothing can set you down easily.
this too much that God has done for me in my life. And I must encourage others. I was called to encourage others. Not only preach the gospel, but to encourage you. Don't give up. I know it's hard. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't settle for less. Jesus is on your side. Don't, don't give up. I said, don't give up. The word of the Lord is telling you, don't give up. Holy Spirit said, don't give up. He's there with you. Through the fire, I'm with you. He's an awesome God. Here. I just have to let you guys go for now. I need to be in his presence. You need God. And he needs you. Stick with God. The unchangeable hands of Jehovah. Stick with him. To the pain and to the trials and to the betrayal and to the letdowns and whatever it is that even causes it. I just know that God is walking with you every facets of your life. God is talking with you in every facets of your life. God is with you when you think that he's not there. That's when he is actually walking and carrying you in his hands. And you have no idea what's going on in the background is that he's working it. Woman 828 says he's working all things together. Mm. For your good. Child of God, may God bless you. I don't know who I'm speaking to. May God encourage you in your down place. May the spirit of the living God rest upon you. It don't matter what you've lost in your life. You got Jesus. You got Jesus. It don't matter what I have to lose. I will lose everything, but I cannot lose me not standing with God, with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cannot lose not being in the presence of Yeshua. Let me lose it all, but let me keep my God. May God bless you, child of God. May the Spirit of God keep you. I hope this word will bless you and encourage you. That Jesus is all we need. What does it profit us to gain the whole world? And one day lose our souls. God loves you. Give your life to him. Renounce every evil work out of your life. Denounce every evil work out of your life. And give your heart, your mind, your body, and your soul to Christ. Let him mold you and make you into that man or woman of God that you are supposed to be. May God bless you and strengthen you. Again, this is Pastor Life. I love you guys so much. Breath of Life family, I love you guys so much. Keep praying for us. Keep strengthening. Keep asking God to strengthen us and the ministry. <laughs> Please subscribe. I say this all the time. Use the YouTube the um use the YouTube channel. You will see underneath the YouTube channel my WhatsApp page. That's my that's the page where the Lord has really led me to minister even the more greater. Prayer is important. We're going through our eight days of fasting starts on the twenty sixth of December up into January. It's time to get consecrated. It's time to allow the Spirit of God to give you a new eyes, a new mind, a new way of hearing Him. God wants to do something special in our lives for 2022. Why don't you come on? Come on, what's up? Subscribe. Share the gospel. Let it be virus to the entire world that man may see and glorify the name of Yeshua Mashiach. God bless you so much. I'm honored to be your friend your pastor, everything. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening in the Lord.